Oh, good old puzzling. Okay, 23 split. Okay. So here, we've got to just push down the light button. So, is it as, it's probably not as easy as just coming around here. Oh, uh, we probably need to make a move like this. While on the blue. Oh, nice puzzle. So the reason that worked is we were able to be here, and because the lips on the blue, it basically opens the door, meaning we can now move up, and that places it on the button. Nice and simple. Oh, God. So we got to get this box upwards. Wait, why can't we just... Oh, we can't do it like that. So we've got a, we've got to basically get a setup like this, if you remember, where we had the uh, ball behind, between, or sorry, we have to get a setup like this, where we have the box between the player and the ball. That way we can, we'll basically be able to walk forwards and have it push the button while it's behind us. So, like this but the other direction is the big is the big hiccup right now so how do we want to go about this well the okay the box needs to be here so we can pull it up so it needs to be in this position here so if we maneuver ourselves in such a way as that's possible or even down here, because what we need to do is we need to have it probably here, actually. Because so we need to make a move where we move upwards onto one of these pads. And this is the only one we can make a move upwards onto. So now, if we just head on down like this, there we go. Nice puzzle. Okay. Did I beat the level? <laughs> no, uh, we've got to... So we've got to push down both these buttons. In such a way so that... Sorry, if I get this right. Because that pushes that one in place, Lee. But now we need to push the chain. But we can't... We Realistically, we probably can't use that. Because if we want to break something, we're going to want to break it in a way so that the ball... Uh, the ball will be on the opposite side to us, basically. So the ball will either end up here, most likely, or in here, actually. So we probably don't even want the box to go in there. We probably want to end up in a situation where we get a chain like that, then we push back, as so we also want the box to be there. So if we set this up, there we go. Nice and simple puzzles. I like it. Okay, here, we need to get there, but the ball will stop us, okay? So, lovely. Oh, but now the chain stops us, too. Okay, so, oh, this is going to be quirky, because we can't push the chain while So, what if... We got something going. How do I get this working? Because I basically want to make a move where we have the ball where well, I'm here, but the ball is on the bottom all I do. If that makes sense. Strange, mysterious. Okay, I feel like getting rid of the ball is probably the first step. It logically kind of makes sense, or that would make sense to surprise us. And now we just got to get rid of the chain. To get rid of the chain, we would effectively need to hold down this button and then make a move where 
we were on this button previously and moved downwards, right? Or we were on this button and then we let go. So we've got to make a move where we have the chain on here. So we have to be on here before we make a move that unpresses this button. Meaning, I feel like we need the ball for this. Someone help me. Oh, we don't even need to get livid, do we? Do we? Ah, uh, we don't need to get rid of it. Okay, we can just sneak on by. <laughs> that had me stuck for quite a while. Okay. Blocked. So here we need to press the blue. And to get to blue, we probably need to open all red as well. And I'm thinking we're going to need to surf our chain here. So the best way of going about that would probably be... Unless we want to, we can sort of get another one of these going. Look at that. That couldn't be this. That couldn't possibly be the solution. No, because that's a stupid solution. <laughs> we would also get this to happen, like that, which solves this level. <laughs> Right, so here, here we have to effectively get our ball slapped in there. This one feels like we've got to, I feel it already, I feel like we've got to do this and then push, there we go. You can't, it's like me, I'm speeding through these puzzles now. So here we need to push that. When we do that, we get stuck. So we obviously need to push it with the ball or something. So we most likely need to get one of these situations going. But we can't be here when that happens. So how far does this go? Because I'm thinking we want like a situation like this. But obviously we want one of these boxes to stay here. Is this even possible? And then we would want to push this one down realistically by one. Puzzles are made slow elements. And now we can push, which moves everything Awesome puzzle. I loved that. Okay, one more level in this world. So here, let's take a look. We want to basically push down the button. Probably with our chain. We want the reverse of that. How? Well, it's probably gonna involve one of these. Right, it's probably going to involve, like, making a really strange movement. I don't know what the box's purpose is yet. Right, I can't make the shape. I want to make, I want to make this shape. To do that, I would have to come around here and make that. But why would I make that shape? We want to make this shape, don't we? Which we can't make in this corner, for the obvious reason of, well, we can't. So how do we make a slight line there? We put the box between us. Like, if we put that there. Ta-da! Now what? <laughs> Congratulations, we pushed it two squares to the left. We could try making the same shape here, sort of. Do we need... To... Is it going to be done like this? So, 
We want to... I think we want to essentially, if I got this like, we want to make a move where... Make a move where the ball is here and the box is here. To do that, we need to make one of these straight line moves and then move back. So we need, if we move like this, move back, and now we can move up twice. There we go. Okay. Nice finishing to our world. You know there's going to be hard puzzles when there's only four of them in a world. Oh, wait, there's more than one ball now. No chance I can ditch you somewhere. Uh, I have attachment issues, I'm sure you're aware. Oh, but we need to push this button. To Wait, did I? I think I solved it actually. I think it was just really easy. And then we push this up, right? Okay. Easy clap. Well, this move feels forced. So it feels like we have to lose our ball there. What we want is to push this button down. And the only way we can go about doing that is if we have a separate ball or I do. Like from the get go, to even go anywhere, you have to basically make this move. So that's probably it. Oh, okay, the ball connects to us if it hits our chains, so we can just drag it around like that. Nice and simple. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Checkpoint. So here, so we can, we can walk past this, and now we can't get back. We could totally, uh, totally playing this around like that and then really carefully we can't push it up oh, but then that gets us to this issue how do we get that going because the problem here is we can't make any moves that make us move in the right direction. Or in the left direction, if you want to be funny like that. Um, let's see. My mouse is loading something. I don't know why. Do I even, wait, can you guys even see my mouse? Okay, good, you can. You just can't. I thought I was... I thought I've been playing in the entire game without a mouse visible. Okay. This is my ball. <laughs> we could move like that. So I, th the most likely situation is that we just have two balls, and we push one of the balls like that. That's we don't necessarily have to be on this side to win. We could be on this side if we have something pressing the buttons. So if we had to move like no This is kind of stumps me. Now I know how people feel when I'm watching them play my game and they're just one step away from the solution, but I don't know it. <laughs> you feel sleepy. And that gets it stuck. Unless we do this. Uh -huh. What if I bring... If I bring this flow as well, then I die. So whatever's in the middle will die. That is the only thing that lets... Out of all the combinations, right? 
I get a ball, I either get me to go, then I either get a ball, then me, then the ball. I go first, so it's like this, to which point I can't get back anyway. Or I go last, to which it's like this. And this is the only solution that actually brings the puzzle forwards. Right? I guess now... Well, that was easy. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna title this video playing with my balls. This is... This is difficult. So, we need to essentially get this ball off the button. Why does that not work? Does it not work if it's perpendicular to it? Hopefully this move lets us claim our ball. Oh! So if there's multiple balls, it doesn't connect to a chain. So he so what's happening here is there are two balls here, so it can't pick one. Two balls here, two balls here. But the moment we make a move like this, now there's only one ball, and so it can connect. We so we basically move as much as we like around here. As long as we have a situation where there's at least two balls next to us. How do you get over there? So, I guess we can start by... We can't move that down. Oh, God. The puzzle begins. I would find it more when I was blissfully ignorant. We want to be able to... We want to be able to have a place where we can bypass these two and still get to this one. Made a bad habit of leaving my mouse on the middle of the screen. Okay, and here we can't win because we got that ball stuck. So this ball has to move down. It's basically a fact at this point. This ball has to move out of the way before we move it down. But we can't move up like that. We can't come back up here either. I thought this move was a good move. It might not be. What if we send this one down as well? So we've been trying to send it up. So we make these moves as normal. Then we push that one. Push it down. A. <laughs> Once again, though, it's that time of the day where we're at the end of the video, so. If you enjoyed this video of me playing with balls, I will see you <laughs> next week. <laughs> oh, I have so many titles for this video. I wonder which one I'm going to choose.